Hey guys, it's Derek with Panhandle Exotics. Today I'm going to talk to you about Tendrix, specifically lesser Tendrix like this guy. Although they look very similar to a hedgehog, they're completely unrelated. Tendrix are a mammal in the same family as moles, shrews, aardvarks, and elephants. They originate from southern Madagascar and they live primarily in dry forest, coastal regions, scrub, and semi-desert areas. Unlike hedgehogs, Tendrix aren't as sensitive to temperatures. Hedgehogs must be kept above 72 degrees or it can be fatal. However, Tendrix will enter a state of hibernation each year in the cooler seasons and it can last up to six months. During this time, they will mostly sleep, but occasionally will get up for a quick bite of food or drink, uh, maybe once or so each week. During the hibernation period, although they are mostly sleeping, food and water should always be made available. They can still be gently handled while in hibernation and many times will wake up from the body heat of your hand as it warms them up. During hibernation, room temperatures as low as 65 degrees is perfectly normal. Once a hibernation season is over, keep them at least 70 degrees or above. Tenrix are semi-arboreal animals, which means that they're amazing climbers. Because of this, stay away from using a tall cage where a long fall could happen. This could hurt your pet or even be fatal. Also, extra bedding in the bottom or a fleece blanket will soften the fall should this happen. Tenrix can be prone to calcium deficiencies, so it is recommended to supplement their food a couple times a week by sprinkling with calcium uh, with E3 added. This will help prevent metabolic bone disease. They are sold as unsexed because there is no visual sex organs. All of their sex organs are housed internally. Um, some people claim to be able to sex them visually by milking in their eyes, things like that, but there is no way that is visual that is 100%. The only way to know for sure is DNA. Um, it is relatively inexpensive, usually around 35 bucks, takes a couple of weeks for your results. If you'd like the name of the lab that we use for our personal breeders, come by, we're happy to share this information with you. Um, housing your tenric is fairly simple. We recommend a large cage with a plastic bottom and half inch bar spacing. The half inch spacing will prevent your pet from climbing out and uh, anything bigger they could probably squeeze through so I would not go with a, with a standard one inch. We advise against using an aquarium with the exception of a 40 gallon breeder. The reason for this is because long term it'll, it'll probably cause an upper respiratory infection due to the poor ventilation. They will need a house or an igloo, something to, to kind of hide in and make them feel protected. You can also use a hedgy pouch, which is a fleece, a fleece pouch with a ring in the opening to help keep it from closing. This will give them a comfortable place to snuggle up, stay warm, and feel hidden. For the bottom, just use pine, aspen, carefresh, or any paper-based product. Don't use cedar, even with, with any small animal, because it will usually lead to breathing problems or even upper respiratory infections. They will need a water bottle and food dish and some toys. Some toys we recommend are toilet paper tubes with a slit cut all the way down to prevent from getting stuck, plastic fun, uh, tunnels, fair play balls, and a wheel. Tenrix are a solitary animal, so we typically recommend just one per cage. The only exception is if uh, you have a couple of females, that's fine, but you'll have to have them DNA sex to be sure. Uh, socializing your Tenrix is very simple. Although anything with a mouth can bite, Tenrix are naturally a sweet animal and easy to work with. Most of the time, they'll actually hold on to you as well, almost like they're hugging you. Um, just play with them often. It'll keep them socialized and keep them used to it. And rotate their toys out to help keep their minds stimulated and they will stay happy. Feeding's pretty simple. They are classified as an insectivore, but they're truly more of an omnivore. We feed ours a staple diet of our personal hedgehog blend. Uh, a few times a week, we supplement with mealworms, waxworms, and crickets. And then we also mix in the uh, calcium supplement with vitamin D3. You can also give these guys occasional treats of cooked, unseasoned meats, and frozen thawed pinky mice. Some people also offer small amounts of fresh produce and occasionally a piece of fruit as a treat. If you're interested in getting your own pet tenderit, come by and check us out. We usually have some available in the store. Uh, at the time right now of making this video, we have about four or five to choose from. Our Tendrix are born and raised here in our facility, and they're definitely one of our favorite small species, which is why we're so big into breeding these guys. We, they're just, we love them. They're awesome pets. Thank you for watching our video. Be sure to subscribe below. Uh, check out our newest vids for updates on new arrivals. Sign up for a free newsletter at panhandleexotics.com. And for discounts and coupons, download our free app from the App Store. Just search Panhandle Exotics.